In this video, I will compare Evernote versus Notion versus Obsidian and tell you which of these platforms may be best for you and your needs. So all of them have free options available and there are also paid plans available. Now I'll just share with you which one I would use depending on what you want to spend and just overall which one is best for each specific need. So first of all, let's go over what they do exactly and who they are for. So Evernote is a tool that will help you with creating wikis, a planner, documents, class notes, research, journaling, writing out your thoughts, creating a task list, and creating meeting notes. Now you can use it completely for free, although they also have some paid plans available in case you want more notes and more notebooks and stuff like that, or if you want to collaborate with your team. However, if you do want to collaborate with other people, then I would personally go with Notion, because here you can do that completely for free, and Notion does have some really advanced features, but you can also create wikis, documents, projects, they have an AI, they have a calendar, and sites. So if you want to create sites and use a calendar, then Notion may be best for you. Now Obsidian is a little bit different from these two, in my opinion, Obsidian also allows you to write out notes, but it's very good at linking different notes together and it has a pretty different look compared to Evernote and Notion. Now you can also graph stuff out like you can see right here. So you have philosophy, it's linked to books and all of this stuff. But then this is linked to Rene Descartes and a lot of other things. So basically you can create a graph like that. Now you can also create a canvas. You have a bunch of plugins that you can download. And basically it is really good for taking notes, but only for personal notes in my opinion. Now in terms of pricing on Obsidian, you have the free plan and the commercial. Now for most people the free plan will be more than enough. But if you want to use it with other people, you want to get the commercial plan at 50 USD per user per year. But if you are looking for a free personal note taking app, I would go with Obsidian. Now, if you are looking for a tool to take notes along with other people and collaborate, then I would go with Notion. And also if you are looking for a tool for your personal notes, but you also want to use the AI calendar and maybe even some sites, then I would again go with Notion. And if you want to create just personal notes and you don't want to collaborate, and especially if you do want to create class notes, then I would go with Evernote. So that concludes this comparison of Evernote versus Notion versus Obsidian. Now, if you want to get started with Notion, I'll leave a link to them down in the description. And through that link, you can get started completely for free. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.